And this is exactly how Rafael was able to do over $100,000 in profit in just 60 days. Hansel right here, Dave, John, and Jess. And all they had to do was follow these four simple little checklists to get their first paying high ticket client utilizing Instagram. And these four simple little things are... What is up online CEOs, my name is Jose Peña and in this video I'm gonna show you the four simple little checklists that you need to follow to get your first high ticket paying client utilizing Instagram. This is the exact same framework we are using ourselves to generate tens of thousands of dollars per month on Instagram alone and how we're helping all of these clients right here that you see on the screen. This four step checklist is perfect for you if you want to make sure that you get your first high paying client utilizing Instagram for your coaching, consulting, maybe course or agency business. So let's just jump into it right away. But before we do that, I also want to make sure that we do something fun. In every single video that we post right here, moving forward, we're always going to have a little riddle. And the first person who answers the riddle correctly down here in the comments is going to be entered to win $100 or a bunch of other prizes that we have here on the screen. So make sure that if you haven't already, turn notifications on right here and hit that like button so you don't miss out on the next riddle every single time we post a video. And the riddle for today is what does the moon and a dollar have in common? Post the answer down below and the first person who answers it correctly enters to win either $100 or a bunch of these other awesome prizes. All right, now let's just get started with the four simple step checklist to get your first high paying client utilizing Instagram. Step number one is making sure you have a clear magnetic offer. And what do I mean by this? Because it sounds super simple and it really is simple, but it's not easy to create. So make sure that you follow these guidelines that I'm about to tell you right now to make sure that you create the best magnetic and sexiest offer. Is your target market going to perk up when they hear your offer? Because it literally paints out and speaks directly to them, to their pains and desires. For example, if you are a fitness coach or a personal trainer, you do not want to tell people that they're going to have to bench press 200 pounds every single day and eat chicken and broccoli because they don't care about that. What they actually care about is having that six pack abs and that bikini body. And this leads me to the second question is, does it paint a clear picture of what they're going to get? And what I mean by what they're going to get is what result they're going to get, not the actual process they're going to have to follow in order to get that. Because for your prospect to be hyped up and excited to get your offer, they need to understand the before and the after that's going to happen when they get your product or service. Which leads me to the next question is, do they understand the transformation that will happen? For example, Hansel right here, he was a relationship coach, had a small following on Instagram and wasn't making any money from it. So we implemented the exact same framework that I'm telling you right now. And he was able to make after implementing it over $11,000 in just 24 hours with one single Instagram story. As you can see, it's very clear the before and the after because he got an insane result in a very short amount of time. And in his case, he painted the exact same picture of the before and the after for his clients in his relationship coaching business and this leads me to the next question is do you have a specific time frame on average of when your clients or prospects will see results for example in Hansel's case he did eleven thousand dollars in profit in just 24 hours with one single Instagram story in Rafael's example we did exactly the same thing for his e-commerce consulting agency and in the first 60 days he did over hundred thirty three thousand dollars in profit so in short you want to make sure that you have a timeline attached to the results that people are going to get because it paints a picture of a beginning and an end before and after with a timeline that people can follow. And of course, this leads me to the next point, which is, do you have proof? Proof or testimonials or case studies is by far one of the most important, crucial elements that you need to have to have a sexy offer. It is the reason why when you go to Amazon, you prefer to buy from a product that has a thousand reviews versus one that has 10. It is the exact same reason why clients prefer to work with us when they see hundreds and dozens of testimonials and success stories that we have had with our clients and our students. So in your case, do you have proof that your method framework product or service actually does work and of course the question now becomes what happens if i don't have testimonials or case studies to show well there's always something called borrowed credibility which simply means that you're borrowing credibility or results from somewhere else because that person followed the exact same process you are and of course you can always use your own results as well because we believe in leading by example so you should never be teaching or showing or coaching anything that you have never done before. So for example, if you are a fitness trainer, chances are you're probably in good shape. So you can definitely show your before and after yourself with your own transformation. And then let's just say you are doing veganism. You can of course show other people that are also vegan that have amazing shape because they are also in amazing shape. So you're borrowing their credibility without saying that you help them get that result. All you're saying is this process was able to help them and was able to help you 
So it will probably help your prospects as well. Now let's say you have an agency or you're doing some sort of service or done for you. You can also say the exact same thing by showing, let's just say, for example, you help dentists get more patients by simply showing other dentists that have followed the exact same process. Let's just say it's called Facebook ads or Instagram ads or whatever. And this dentist followed the exact same process you're teaching and showing. Again, you're simply borrowing credibility and not saying that you helped them get that result, but simply stating the fact that this process is proven to work and it has worked for this person, this person, this person, this person person and it's probably going to work for your prospects as well. Now, having said this, of course, it's always better to have your own proof and your own credibility and your own case studies and testimonials. But if you're starting from scratch and don't have anything, don't let it stop you and just use borrowed credibility until you get your own success stories and case studies. And it is extremely important that you have proof because people always have the BS meter on. So you need to overcome that by showing, hey, no, this process and this system is proven to work, has worked for all these people and will also work for you. So let's just start working together. So in short, as a summary, make sure that it paints a desired outcome. You're able to clearly state a before and after. You have a specific time frame for that before and after, and then you have proof or testimonies to back up your before and after transformations. This is why, for example, a simple framework that we teach our clients to always use is the 5130. It's simply saying, I'm looking for five people who want to get this one result in the next 30 days. As you can see, Number of people, one result, specific time frame. And then after that, they say, John, Lisa, or whatever have implemented this exact thing and gotten this result. You can even use this right now for your own business. You're gonna see how fast and easy you start getting leads and sales. So in short, direct to offer is the fastest pathway to a high ticket coaching business. And the coolest part is that you don't have to build a product and you have to build a service and you can pivot very quickly. Now let's just go over the checklist for step number two. And this is what we call the velvet rope. And what I mean by this is the following. Have you positioned yourself as the expert in your specific field? So maybe you have an agency or consulting business that helps other businesses with Facebook ads or maybe SEO or website or whatever. Instead of trying to help everybody under the sun, it is a lot better to focus on one specific niche and industry because then people remember you for that specific thing. So instead of you trying to help and focus on everybody, try to say this. We help chiropractors get more clients and sales for their business utilizing our unique mechanism with websites and funnels. Something very simple. You're doing the exact same thing you were doing before, but instead of doing it for everybody, you only focus on chiropractors. And what's going to happen is that chiropractors, every single time they think about getting this one thing to get this one result, they're going to think about you. So you have easily positioned yourself as the expert. Another way that you can do this is obviously growing your follower because it's a lot more credible and easy to buy from somebody that has 100,000 followers versus somebody that has five. It's the exact same reason why you probably want to go to that fancy popular restaurant in your city versus that old, not so cool restaurant that nobody goes to. Because monkey see, monkey do. People go where people are. Pretty simple. Now the second question you gotta ask yourself is, have you expressed your expertise without overwhelming your prospect? AKA, make sure you're not just speaking techno babble. Nobody understands that and nobody likes that. Now the third question you gotta ask yourself to make sure you're positioned as the expert or velvet rope is, do people desperately want what you have? If they don't, then probably there is not a product market fit. And what do I mean by this is that if you look at nightclubs, for example, like here in Miami, there's always a humongous line going around the clubs of people that want to get in because they know they're gonna have a great time, all the most beautiful ladies are in there, their favorite artist is in there, but there's a red velvet rope that separates people from the general admission from the VIP. And people VIP just come in and do as they want. And everybody else just wants to get inside. So here, what you need to do is position yourself in the same way. So in your business, think, how can you position things in a way where your clients come in and they feel VIP and they want to be part of it at VIP price? Now, the third piece of this checklist and puzzle, if you want to get your first paying client on Instagram, is that you need to make sure that you keep your system super simple, meaning a two-step process. You get the lead and you close the lead and that's it. If you have a super complex 12-step funnel to sell a $97 product, which is low ticket, is not going to work unless you have a massive following, which 99% of people don't have. So make sure you keep it simple and easy, both for your sake and your prospects. This allows you to then answer the following question, which is, are you set up to make a slam dunk? Are you set up to build desire in an easy way? If you simply do a two-step process where you get the lead and you close the lead, it's probably gonna happen. And this allows you to have your calendar looking like this, where it's full of sales calls and prospects wanting to talk to you to see if they can actually become part of your program, AKA your VIP, Velvet Rope. And this is why we have been able to grow so fast in our business because our calendars are always packed with prospects and sales calls with people that want to become our clients and be part of our programs that are VIP. Now, the easiest way for you to create a simple system, which is a two-step, is making sure you have a proper follow-up system with just 
your phone via DMs. So you gotta ask yourself, do you have a proper follow-up system or script that turns leads into paying customers simply by typing messages on your phone? This is less intrusive because people honestly don't want to be talking on the phone all day. And you also don't want to be wasting your time speaking to everybody on the phone. You only want to speak with people on the phone who are ready to pay you for your VIP service. Because your VIP service solves one problem. Which of course leads me to the next question. Are you making sure that you are solving problems in the correct order in a simple way? And if you don't have a product or service built out yet, don't worry about that to be honest right now. What you should be worried right now is about getting buyers to help them solve their problems with your expertise. We always say, sell it before you make it. It is the exact same business model that Elon Musk has and the exact same business model that Kickstarter has. And they're wildly successful. So don't try to solve a problem that's around the corner. Try to solve the problem that you have here today, right now. Because if you don't, that leads to procrastination or perfectionism, which leads, of course, into not taking action or not doing anything at all. So in short, make sure you focus on the top of the value ladder and make sure that you focus on the high paying clients. That is where the money is and that is where you should be focusing on. And now let's go into the fourth and final piece of this checklist and that is sealing the deal aka collecting that money. Ask yourself what happens when somebody books a call with you? You need to make sure that people are booking a call with you because then you are in position of authority. If you do it the other way around you lose that position of authority which is honestly extremely important. And here's where you need to become a very good salesperson because you need to make sure that you're able to navigate the objections and the things, especially when they say no. So what do you do when the prospects or potential client says no? Do you know how to turn a no into a yes? Because by this point already, when you're talking to them on the phone, you know for a fact that you can help and serve that potential client with the problems and issue they're facing right now. And they're simply saying no because one, they don't trust you and two, probably they don't understand your offer. So you need to work on both. But what happens on the flip side? What happens if you pitch them and they immediately say yes? Do you know what to do? Are you ready and know how to collect the payment? Do you know how to ask for that money? And then also, and most importantly, what happens when the client hears your pitch wants to work with you, but they want a payment plan. Are you able to create and are able to take payment plans so you create a consistent monthly recurring revenue month after month, which is extremely important to build a successful business. In short, knowing how to turn your followers into leads, leads into appointments, and appointments into closed sales, it should be your highest priority. And that is exactly with this four simple step checklist is exactly how you do it. Now you might be wondering, Josue, what do I actually say to close and seal the deal? We actually put together a free training and free video right here on YouTube. It's gonna be right here on the card or down below in the description where we break down the entire framework that we have used ourselves to close multiple millions of dollars that we have helped and showed our clients as well. The video to that is gonna be down below in the description. And now you might be wondering, Josue, how do I actually work with you and how do I create a good sexy offer for my business? How do I actually market it organically and then would pay traffic, how do I actually go out there and sell it? And most importantly, how do I create automated systems that allow me to work in my lifestyle and allow me to make a high profit margin at the same time? So if that's you and you're interested in that, the very first link down below in the description is going to take you to a completely free 20 minute case study where we show you step by step how we work with clients and how we have helped them implement this exact strategy in their business. Again, we have done this for dozens and dozens of clients and we can probably implement it in your business as well. Again, just click the link down below. It's gonna take you to a completely free 20 minute video where we break down the entire case study and how we done it. And then there's gonna be a button right there where you can apply fill out a short questionnaire for us to know a little bit more about your business. And then we're gonna jump on a one-on-one -on -one call to coach you and give you clarity specifically how we can implement this exact framework in your business and see if it's a good fit for us to work together. Other than that, that has been it for me, Jose Peña from Online Seals. Make sure you let me know in the comment section below which of these four things that are, again are part of the four simple step checklist to get your first, second, third, even fifth paying client utilizing Instagram. Again, having a clear offer. Number two, having a velvet rope system. Number three, having a simple system that you can implement right away. And then number four, making sure you're able and capable of closing and sealing that deal. That has been it for me. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video and turn notifications on so you do not miss the next one.